Hey everybody, I'm Siva. I'm Matthias. That's my girlfriend calling me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that in. <clears throat> and we are Super Pine Bros. And we are here at Battle and Brew in Marietta, Georgia. Um, we're going to get a little bit to what this place is in a minute, but we have some very, very important questions. First off, I have Sean Hagler, General Manager of Battle and Brew. So he gets paid to hang out at this awesome, awesome place. But drink beer and vid play video games. It's rough. It's yeah. rough. Living the dream. Tough, tough job. We got some important questions to this guy first before we find out what this place is. The first one is, I came up this last night and I really, really went around Dragon Con and just watched some nerds fight over this. Get a fight to the death. You have Han Solo and Captain Kirk from the original series in his prime. No weapons. Who would win? And no why? weapons. Okay. No weapons. Well, that changes the game. It does, because Han would totally win with Han weapons. Han would shoot first before the, <laughs> yeah. you know, before the match even started. Uh, that's a tough one. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with Han Solo on this one. Okay. Um, I think Kirk would put up a really good fight, um, but you know if Han Solo's fighting, Princess Leia is probably going to be close by, which would distract Kirk, Ooh. being the ladies' man, yeah. and therefore Han Solo would win with his trickery and and, and the thing is roguish like, qualities. When, when it first started, Kirk was you know all fit and everything yeah. else, but then like it wasn't it like a season or two, and he's wearing like a girdle. And <laughs> yeah, he's like State Puff Marshmallow Man yeah. in like season two. But yeah, I, I think uh, I think Han Solo would completely win. Um, Kirk would, yeah, he'd have his shirt ripped and he'd look all good and have that little, that, that manly cut on the face and go get him laid. But well, you know, Han Solo is also a no nonsense type of guy. Yeah. You know, Kirk is very vain. Yeah. You know, so he'd, he'd be pausing trying to see where the camera angle is looking at him best. You know, oh, you're going to get this shot right of him, me decking him. And, you know, Han Solo would just take advantage of that point. So. And halfway through the fight, there'd be like this really <coughs> wide angle shot and it's, you know, his stunt double. It's not even <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. so, another question I've been asking a lot of people when you were a kid, were you a Nintendo guy or were you a Sega? guy well I'm showing my age here when I was a kid I was an Intellivision guy Ooh. actually we had that we had that from uh we did a we did another interview with um, um, uh, Blind Murphy up in uh, Alpharetta. Yeah, and he was in television and ColecoVision. Yeah, and I still Atari have 600. I still have my Intellivision. Oh. And if you if you've never played in television on a uh, 46 inch LCD screen, <laughs> <coughs> gives a whole new meaning to pixels. What was what was your game on uh, the Intellivision? Intellivision was probably Tron Deadly Discs. I spent hours on that game. Was that it as sounds. good as it sounds? No. But <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. Um, the first console that I bought for myself with my own money was Nintendo 64. I still love the whole thing. It's like games are what? Like 50, 60 bucks a week. Uh, a they've game always now. been 50, 60 and, bucks. And people yeah. used to say, oh, they were so much cheaper when we were kids. No, they've no, always been They've that. always been $50. I remember saving up money for months and yeah. going to Toys R Us, looking at the wall of Nintendo games, and you're like, I can only afford one. Which one am I going to get? You know. Now, Street Fighter 2 was $80 when it first came out on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. And it's back when gas was like 75 cents a gallon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, my uh, Street Fighter 2 story is that me and my brother both had rat tails, and my parents hated it. <laughs> I mean, it was the early 90s. So, what we. Can we find a photo of that and please put this yeah, in? Yeah, we need I, I have none. Oh, I have none. I Photoshop it. I want to see this. <laughs> Maybe, but um, yeah, basically they bribed us uh, and said if you cut your rat tails, which I mean, they're our parents, they would do. I mean, we would have no choice. Yeah, they could do it in our sleep, and we'd never know. Yeah. But if you cut your rat tails, we would get you Street Fighter too. So I never had a rat tail ever that's again. A, that's a good. That's a good bribe. I think. Yeah, I love yeah. that game. I played that for days. Yeah. Like days. I think I'd buy you Street Fighter two right now just to promise you'd never have a rat tail again. I would guarantee it. <laughs> So, let's talk about this place a little bit. Okay. So, how long have you been open? We opened our doors in September of 2005. Nice. Um, I started working here in June of 2006. Mm -hmm. Interesting story, actually. We opened our doors in September 2005. In February, on Friday the 13th, we had a car drive through the front of the building, take out about eight PCs and slam into the back wall back there and spin its tires into the carpet. There's even a, wow. a burn mark in the carpet that we shellacked Gosh. over as, as a remembrance of that. When they had the grand reopening, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> force them out, yeah. Uh, when we had the grand reopening, like the first week of March was the first time a buddy of mine 
brought me here. And from that point on, I was a regular here four or five times a week. Now, what are people playing most right now? What's the one thing that you see that everyone's kind of gravitating towards? Console, PC, anything. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's got to be League of Legends right now. League of Legends is just huge. I mean, we still have a lot of people that come in and play, you know, Diablo 3. You know, Guild Wars is starting to pick up a little steam since it just came out this week. Mm -hmm. That's my problem. Like, I grew up playing, you know, the side scroll left to right, and that was it. Sure. And when 3D came out, it was just, oh my god, this is ridiculous. And I learned to play first person shooters with, you know, WASD and, yeah, my mouse. And the first Xbox that came out, it's like, what the hell is? This? I can't play first-person shooters on a console system. I just can't do it. It's too twitchy for me. Yeah, or whatever. I, I can't That's do the only it. Way which I is can. even, which is funny because you know some of the first first-person shooters that I played was you know Star Wars Dark Forces right. on a Mac yes. in 1992. Yeah, you know, Fantastic. where you know it's you know forward with WASD and then you turn your camera with the arrow. There's no mouse involved. Everything's yeah. on the keyboard. Oh, yeah. you know? So it's like it's like playing the piano on the keyboard in order to move your character. <laughs> around. I completely um, forgot about that. I played that. the hell out of that series. And yeah. And well, it was amazing. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't until Half-Life came out yeah. that uh -huh. I moved to the um, to the mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Even when Unreal Tournament came out, yeah. I was still doing the whole keyboard thing. And we would have LAN parties at my house. Oh, and I miss I'm like, I'm getting days. owned. How are you guys turning around so fast? They're like, we're using the mouse. And I'm like... Oh, this thing? <laughs> oh, no, for those of you who have never been here, especially in the Atlanta area, uh, I lived here for about two years now, and I keep hearing about it. I'm like, oh, it's a nerd bar. And they've got video games, and they've got beer, which is just about all you need, especially for us. Yeah. But uh, the trivia night, it's <coughs> awesome. And we're like, all right, we're nerds. This is going to be great. We're going to get all this stuff. And it was, it's like so obscure, you hate it, and you're pissed that you don't know it. Questions like, how many Smurfs were there? <laughs> um... What was the planet that Princess Leia told to blow up and it said the, the, the Rebel base is on instead of Alderaan? I come it's up great. with all the questions myself, but we don't use an outside source or anything. Um, and I come up with these questions and I'll be like, oh, what was the thing? Oh, I can't remember. This is going to be a good question. So this is <laughs> going to kill me if I don't know right now. How many Smurfs were there? 100 individual named with backstory Smurfs. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. And the planet was Dantooine. <laughs> uh, what are the specials you guys do here and things like that? Well, on uh, Wednesdays we've got the Geek Trivia, and then the first Wednesday of every month we do a themed Geek Trivia where all the questions are about one particular theme. So September's is World War II and October's is Doctor Who. So it's going to be nothing but Doctor Who questions. Is it New Who or Old Who or both? Both. Okay. Tuesdays is uh, $10 Tuesdays or All Day Pass, which is 20 bucks. You can play all day long um, from 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. for only 20 bucks normally. But on Tuesdays, it's only $10. $10 you can play all, all day, day long. long. Yeah. And you can switch between PC and Rock Band Stage and Xbox, and you know you can just bounce around and there's no additional charge. Now, the one thing that I like that you guys do here is the sake drinks. Sake cocktails, yeah. That was, uh, that was something that we started about a year ago, just simple things, you know, because so we don't good. have, we have a wine and beer license, but not a liquor license. We had a lot of people coming in, oh, I want, you know, liquor, drinks, that sort of thing. So we started using sake mixed with Futrices and wow, gave them yeah. some game names and that sort of thing. And then we hired on Nate Sanders. And Nate Sanders, who has an extensive background in the culinary arts and bartending, came in and basically just destroyed our sake cocktail list and came up with this new sake cocktail. We got like 14 or 16 new drinks now, and they are all all handcrafted at the bar, you know, like yeah. muddling mint and ginger for a sake mule, and, and you know, putting people. a candied hibiscus flower in oh, a yeah. martini glass. I mean, it's it's crazy what this and guy does. When you order fantastic. this thing, don't expect it like the turnaround, like you get like a Jack and Coke. It takes a few minutes to make these yeah. things. They are they are fantastic. Worth it. Worth it yeah. Oh, the one with the the flower in the bottom. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, the fifth element. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We have the Gallifrey Sunrise. That's a good one. Which is good. Um, What's the the cotton candy flavored one? The cotton candy is it's, the Rainbow Dash. It's so <laughs> it's a Cotton Girly. candy flavored martini topped with a skewer that has rainbow colored Twizzlers and a glob of cotton candy at the end. You, you dissolve the cotton candy in the drink and it's named after Rainbow Dash, the My Little Pony. How oh my we, god, it's so good! How, how can we make five gallons of this for Dragon Con? Like, <laughs> exactly, right? This would be the worst. Hand. I don't care. I do not care. I'm going to blue teeth. Oh, just, yeah. oh, it was so good. So that's that's been, a, that's been a boon to our business as well. And it also helps because Friday is ladies night. On Friday, all day long, ladies can come in and play for free. 
means you know the, when the boyfriend comes and they, they he wants to, oh I'm gonna play Call of Duty and well, she can play whatever she wants and it mm-hmm. can be free for her and then we have sake cocktail specials and that sort of thing so and <laughs> contrary to popular belief on especially on ladies night the split is about 60 60 40 ladies to men yeah we get more girls in here than we do guys sometimes wow we, we were we were all for the nerds especially yeah. the lady nerds yeah absolutely all right so well hey man thanks for having us here oh absolutely thanks guys sure. very much appreciate it thank yeah. you take care all right one up one up be cool